In this video, I'll show you how to create an ACI e-manifest with a postal shipment cargo exemption using Border Connect. A postal shipment is a type of Canadian cargo exemption that allows for the release of mail moving with a contract carrier from a foreign postal service to Canada Post. In order to qualify as a postal shipment, the shipment must be moving directly from the foreign postal service, such as the United States Postal Service, for example, to Canada Post, and must consist only of letter class mail or correspondence. Other shipped items, such as merchandise using the Postal Service, would most likely require a formal or informal entry, such as a courier low-value shipment. A tutorial on creating courier low-value shipments can be found by clicking the top of the video now. At the border, the driver must present an ACI e-manifest lead sheet, as well as proof that it qualifies as a postal shipment at the time of arrival. So, let's jump in and I'll show you how to process an ACI e-manifest with the postal shipment exemption. Once you're logged in, hover over the ACI e-manifest menu, and click Start New ACI E-Manifest. After you enter all your trip information, you can add the postal shipment exemption to the truck or trailer here. So click Add IIT or Exemption below the trailer, then select the type of cargo exemption, and select Postal Shipment. Then at the bottom, hover over Save and Start New ACI Shipment. If an ACI shipment needs to be created in addition to the postal shipment, click Save and Start New ACI Shipment. However, in this video, only the postal shipment exemption is going to be created on the manifest. So click Save and View Trip Details. And to learn how to enter ACI trip information, click the link at the top of the video now. Now you're on the ACI e-manifest details page, where you can see all the information you entered for the e-manifest at a glance as you scroll down the page. And if any additional information needs to be added or changed, you can do so here. We're now ready to get our e-manifest on file with CBSA. So go to the top, and click Sync with CBSA, where your manifest status will be changed to two yellow bars, transmitted. After approximately two to three minutes, CBSA should accept your manifest, and the status will then move to three blue bars on file with CBSA, where it will remain at that status until the driver arrives at the border, since there is no customs broker or transaction numbers for postal shipments. And when the driver arrives at the border, the status will then move to five dark green bars, arrival reported at border and will stay at that status even after the driver crosses into Canada as there's no release message provided for postal shipments. Congratulations, you've successfully created an ACI e-manifest with a postal shipment cargo exemption using Border Connect. This type of manifest is usually completed within about a minute or two, and if you ever need help, please reach out to our friendly support team via chat, phone, or email. Hi, I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you'd like to watch more videos like this, Check out these videos here or subscribe below. If you're not already signed up to Border Connect, you can sign up today for a free 45 day trial using special promo code EZ45. Thanks for watching.